Hi everybody! If you did some woodworking, you probably made a bunch of mistakes. So for example, I tried to make this nice shrink pot and it cracked. But the good part of woodworking that you can always kind of fix an error. You can either emphasize them or hide them. This is really up to you what, what you want to do. My suggestion, you emphasize mistakes and show them in a better way for yourself. Let's go! Luckily, I already made this uh, small cat for my previous project, so I only need to figure out how to transfer it on this rounded surface and then how to carve it. I need to use a knife to do this transfer. Okay, so now I have a shape and now cheese it out with whatever stuff I have. And if you don't have a very comprehensive set of uh, gouges, you still can do it. It's just a little bit not going to be as pretty, potentially. Other than that, there is no major difference. What I'm trying now to do is to carefully remove some of the material so I can actually do my insert. So really, like if it was legitimate use of butterfly, the surface should be at the bottom as flat as possible so the glue actually holds everything together. For me it's kind of a joke. One of the practical practice is to use shapes that match your tools. Otherwise you will have to either deal with the imperfections or go buy new tools. But if you created a shape that matches your tools, you already have everything. The regular bow ties are basically bandages to the wood. So there's a crack and a table, you create the bow tie, you put the bow tie and you're done. The shape doesn't have to be bow tie. It's pretty good for the mechanical strength. For the fun of it, you can use cat. Uh, but I saw another YouTube video that people did uh, dolphins, some other shape, even like traditionally, it doesn't have to be the just the bow tie. So honestly, I have no clue which part the glue will be holding. It's a good question. The surface is not flat. This glue, this tight bond, technically requires a lot of pressure on the surface. And it didn't help much that the shape is not perpendicular. <laughs> so when I carved, I kind of messed up multiple times. So good luck to me. Kind of crack became bigger. <laughs> uh, but it became prettier. It's gonna be a really, really unique look after it goes up. Okay. Here is my upgraded project. So this one has a bow tie, <laughs> cat-like looking bow tie, because not all bow ties needs to be regular bow ties. Even though there's a huge crack, it's really, really strong, and it probably will survive for a long, long time. This basically highlights that not all projects needs to be failure. If you failed with the project, you can still try to save it in some way. Uh, either you completely repurpose the project to something else, or, uh, you make a, some creative way of fixing the project so it's no longer people looking at the crack but rather looking at the insert around the crack. Think about projects, like if you have something wrong, try to make it nicer or at least nicer looking or at least distract attention from viewing the problem to viewing some highlights that related to the problem. I hope you like this video, so click the like button and consider subscribing to the channel. Thank you, bye!